Sure, it's awesome having a great looking booty, but there are more important benefits to having strong glutes and hamstrings. Ever feel like your body is beat after a long day? Maybe your lower back aches or you hunch over a bit? Girl, I've been there. Between work, errands, and everything else, it's easy to forget to take care of ourselves, right? You know how everyone says a strong core helps your back and your posture? Well, guess what? Strong glutes are key too. Our bodies definitely feel it when our glutes are not strong, especially the lower back. But here's the good news. This video is a wake up call. Do the whole routine with me and your booty will be feeling strong and awesome by the end. Plus your lower back and posture will thank you. Think of it like a little TLC for your awesome body. No fancy gym stuff is needed, just a pillow and your amazing self. My friend, are you ready to feel taller and stronger? Me too. Go get your mat, set up, and I'll meet you there. Let's do this. You're gonna lay down on your side for clam. This is where you may want a pillow to support your head. When you lay down, you wanna check that your head is in line with your shoulders and your pelvis and that your hips are stacked and your knees are stacked. You wanna have your abs engaged, creating as much space between your waistline and the mat as possible. So you're gonna use your rotator glute and you're gonna wrap the glute and then the knee is gonna respond and open up, but you wanna definitely feel your glute working more than your hip flexors, yeah? You're gonna repeat that, so you're just gonna open and close really focusing on the rotator glute working if you're tapping into it you are going to feel a burn pretty quickly you do want to try to keep your pelvis nice and still so you're just moving your hip and your leg keeping that lift of the abs you may already be feeling a burn i am And you're gonna do as many as you can, and you can rest when you need to. If you start noticing your outer thigh working more than your glute, or you notice your hip flexors taking over, you can stop and rest. Hopefully you're burning. I am burning. <laughs> you can always switch sides if you want to. I'm just gonna do a few more here because I am really on fire. Last one for me, and then switching sides. So when you lay down, checking that your head is in line with your shoulders and your pelvis, hips are stacked, knees are stacked, lots of lift in the abs, creating that space in between the waistline and the mat, wrapping the glute and the knee responds. Hopefully you feel that burn pretty quickly. You may notice that one side feels weaker than the other. If that's the case, I suggest that you do more reps for your weaker side. If you finish before I do, you can always stretch out your glutes in the figure four, ankle over knee. Wow, I am feeling the burn. Are you feeling it? Ooh, booty on fire. I'm just gonna do a few more here. Ooh. Last one for me. Good, let's stretch out. If you haven't already, opposite ankle over knee, pulling into your chest, feeling that stretch, get right into the glute. It's always a good idea to stretch out the glutes after you work them because tight glutes can lock up your hips and then tight hips can lock up your lower back.
And if you haven't switched sides, go ahead, switch. and go ahead and release the stretch. And you're gonna set up for the bent knee side bridge. So for this, you're gonna be on your forearm. You want to keep your shoulder away from your ear and you want to have your elbow slightly in front of your shoulder. You're going to lift your hips up off the mat and then from here, you're gonna open and close your top leg. You're gonna feel a lot of the work on the stabilizing leg, the bottom leg. You may feel it right away. That's good. Remembering to breathe. You wanna do as many of these as you can. When you start to feel any strain, you wanna stop and rest. You can switch sides before me, that's fine. Remembering to keep your abs engaged. Really trying to keep your pelvis nice and stable. Hopefully your bottom glute is on fire. Mine is. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a couple more. Ooh, and then switching sides. Oh my goodness. Are you on fire? All right, so setting yourself up, shoulder away from the ear, your elbow slightly ahead of your shoulder, hips up off the mat, and then up and down with the top leg. Really feeling that bottom leg working a lot, the stabilizing side. Keeping your chest facing forward. Using your breath. Ooh, I'm just gonna do a few more. Three more for me here. Ooh, and rest. Okay, nice. From there, flipping over onto your belly, you're gonna go into Tom Swan. So I'm gonna start with my right hand on top of my left, my left cheek on my right hand. I'm gonna inhale, I'm going to extend and rotate my spine as I pick up the opposite leg. So I'm rotating to the right and I'm picking up my left leg and then coming back to home base and repeating on the same side. So inhaling into the extension, exhaling down. You wanna feel the glute working on that leg that's lifting up, pushing down into the arm that's staying connected to the floor, feeling that rotation and extension of the spine. Trying to stabilize the pelvis, keeping your deep abs lifted. Imagine that your belly button never wants to touch the mat. I'm gonna do a few more here. And then switching sides. So now my left hand is on top of my right. My right cheek is on my left hand, inhaling up, extend, rotate as you pick up the opposite leg. Trying to stabilize your pelvis, pushing your hips into the mat, keeping the deep abs lifted.
Feeling the booty work of the leg that's lifting up. I'm just gonna do a couple more here. And then resting in a child's pose. Pressing your hips back down toward your heels. If you wanna stretch your lats and your shoulders, extend your arms overhead. Breathing naturally into the back and side of your ribs. One more breath here. And then nice and easy coming out of it. We're gonna come onto all fours. Toes are curled under, your feet in line with the back of your hips, pelvis over your knees, long spine, head in line with the spine, soft elbows, extending one leg out, lifting up and down, toe tapping stabilizing the pelvis, really just moving the leg and the hip, feeling the booty work, feeling the hamstring with the glute, feeling the upper body work, the deep abs. If you notice that your hamstring starts to dominate, you wanna stop and rest. You do want to feel your glute working the most and try not to move the spine. Try to stay very stable in the pelvis and the spine. I'm just gonna do a few more because I'm noticing that my hamstring wants to take over. And when you go to switch sides, check that you're in a nice quadruped position before beginning resetting yourself. Stabilizing the pelvis. Trying to keep your head in line with your spine. Feeling that booty work. Feeling the lift of the deep abs. Anchoring down into your hands and your stabilizing foot. Hopefully you're feeling your booty. I'm just gonna do a few more. Noticing that my hamstring wants to start dominating. And then when you wanna rest, come into a child's pose again. So we're gonna finish by activating the parasympathetic nervous system. You're gonna inhale through your nose, hold your breath at the top, just for a couple of counts. Exhale out your mouth longer than your inhale, and you wanna do that at least three times. Here you go.
And then that's it. You did it. Thank you for joining me today. I hope these glute and hamstring exercises help you feel taller and stronger. Let's take a moment to appreciate these amazing bodies that carry us through each and every day. These exercises are a way to show our bodies some love and keep them moving for years to come. Listen to your body. Our abilities may be different from one another and that's fine. Don't push yourself too hard. And remember, with consistency, you will feel improvement. Even just four times a week can make a huge difference. Better posture, less pain, and better stability. You'll be surprised at how much better you feel overall. So what do you think? Which exercise was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more workouts to help you stay strong and flexible. Wishing you all the best for the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Special shout out to my Vital 7 stars. Thank you for making this video possible. Are you ready for exclusive content, early access to content, and other perks? Join us on Patreon. Click on the link in the description of this post for more.